Welcome everyone! Today we're going to show you how to make one of the top Middle Eastern desserts. It's called knafe and it is so good and simple to make. I assure you it will make your day much sweeter. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Knafe is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert made of shredded phyllo dough soaked in a sweet aromatic sugar syrup and filled with delicious melted cheese. Oh, I cannot describe the flavor. This is so good. This soft, warm, cheesy wonder goes back as far as the 10th century and it is amongst the most popular sweets in Israel. It is so tasty and famous that there was even an attempt to set the world record for the largest knafe ever made. And while there are many variations of this goodness, Rode found the perfect recipe that is guaranteed to make you fall in love with it. So stay tuned to find out how to make one of the tastiest desserts in the world. So I heard that this recipe is pretty simple to yeah. prepare, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what would you say? How long would it gonna take us? Um, if it's just me and I'm used to it, the prep time, probably 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so, yeah. but if I help, it probably can get much, an hour, much. If you help yeah, an hour, you're right. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I called in professional help who will make it possible to do it in under 15 minutes. <laughs> I can see it. why you called me and not have Sergio do this. Yeah. Definitely. He'll mess it up, you know? I can see that. <laughs> you actually did a fantastic stir fry a couple of times, which I love. But the kitchen isn't there. Was that the time when I burned down the house? Or the other time when I burned down just the kitchen. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just cut on to never mind. <laughs> okay, so we have three simple steps. We need to do the dough, the filling, and the syrup. But we're starting with the syrup because we don't want it too hot. Let's do this. Okay, so first we're gonna do the simple syrup. And this is just my twist on it. You can, there are a ton of knafe recipes out there. Uh, feel free to do Whatever is out there, this one, we have tried it and we loved it. So about two cups of sugar. Maybe one is enough for us because we don't take a lot of sugar. I'll do one and a half. Um, but if you're doing it for the whole train, you want traditional one, then you want one. And then for that, we'll put one cup of water. And we are gonna melt this on the stove. If it's too thick, feel free to add some water. Okay. On high, you're just gonna stir it until the sugar melts completely. Okay. And since I have professional help today, while I'm stirring this and working on it, I'm gonna have Charlie do something. Charlie, here's what you need to do. You're gonna work on the second step, shredding the dough. I can do that. Awesome. Turn that off. <laughs> Charlie, this is knafe dough, or knafe noodles, or filo shredded dough, or shredded filo dough. You can name it. But I think in some cultures they call it kataifi. And so you want to look for this name when you buy it. And it has to be shredded. Kataifi shredded. All right, so what you're going to do is take this and just shred it. So we want the pieces about this long. About that big. And so you're just gonna be shredding it like that while okay. I stir the I rest of it. I can see why you called me and not have Sergio do this. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, he'll mess it up, you know? I can see that. I love him, but in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie, let me help you with this. I'm not sure that's something I wanna have you participate in. You might, might make things a little more difficult. I think I can do this. Yeah, just grab it and you got to shred it down into little size, you know, little, no, no. Oh. Two hands. Oh, it's on your board. foot. It's right on your toe. It's on my toe. That's There's... all right. The cat will get it. You're still not wearing any shoes in the kitchen. Is that legal? <laughs> it takes a couple of minutes for it to, to melt. We just want to melt the sugar in there. And then we're gonna set it aside to cool down and to also get those lemony and sage flavors in there. I'm almost done here with the syrup. And how are you guys doing there? Oh, look but, at this clump. Yeah. Look at this. Tear it apart, don't play with it. <laughs> like I can have a beard no, like yours. Don't, oh yeah, that would be all right. A nice beard, don't put it on top of your head like. 
you know, like. Don't play with the food. Uh, you really are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's falling all over. Really? Mm -hmm. I think all the sugar have melted. Let's see. That's a lot of mess out here. This is a big mess. That's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna get it all cleaned up later. Don't worry about it now. We gotta shred. She's almost done over there. Look. So I have a couple of sage leaves here, little ones. You don't want the big ones so it doesn't overpower. We're gonna do this, just put it inside. And I have um, a lemon that I have already washed and you just take a piece of its peel and you put it in there. Now you leave those in there for a couple of hours and then take them out because you don't want them to overpower. You just wanna give a little hint that people ask you, hmm, what is that in there? So we're gonna sit that aside and then we're gonna work on the rest of it. I think I'm done. No, that's it. Okay. Rhoda, I think I'm done over here. Okay, let's see. Sergio made a mess, of oh, course. You're not kidding. I think that's great. Check yeah. it out. I'll let you be the final yeah. determiner on there. It's all pretty no, shredded. No, it's, it's good. I good. think it's perfect. Thank okay. you. Good. Wow. Right. Look at that. Yeah. We got shredded knafe. Looks better in my beard. That's for sure. <laughs> no. All right. So for that, um, we are going to add two sticks of butter. And what we want to do with them is microwave them, but we don't want them like boiling hot. We just want them melted. So we're just gonna melt them in the microwave and... Okay, <laughs> this is almost as difficult as our trek to Jerusalem. Oh. 30 seconds, should do it. It's ready, let's see. Okay, I think it's ready. 30 seconds, should do it. That looks perfect. It's not that bad. All right, okay, look at that now. Charlie loves this. Part, I know. Uh, no kidding. He loves butter. Mashed potatoes, I usually put twice as much as any person on the planet. I know. Oh. And they are so good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just mix that together. You want all this coated. When you bake it later, it becomes golden brown. Look how Charlie shredded it so perfectly. I helped. Uh, did he help, Charlie? <laughs> He hindered. <laughs> I told you it would take longer with your help. I really got professional help here. But they say, without hindrance, there is no... How does it go? Is there such a thing? I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> okay, all coated. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna do the final stage, okay? So we're gonna do the filling which is um, simple, but it's gonna have two steps. Charlie, are you ready to shred again? I'm ready to shred. Okay, so we're gonna have mozzarella balls. Where do you get those, from any store? You could, yeah, these are from Publix, but you can get them anywhere. And actually, no, I wanna. So Charlie is gonna be shredding this and simply just by your hand okay. and just like really break it apart. Same as, like that? Or, yeah, okay. yeah, break it apart. You want pieces like this. Okay. Really small. I can do that. So, like that. All right. And that's it. All right. Can I help? Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I think I should definitely help. I think you should come in and help anyway. Uh, Even though I said please uh, don't, you still come in. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely Just, gonna she help. She said about this big, okay? And get in there and do it. So, Little pieces. like this? There you go. Or smaller. No, don't get too small. small. Because then it's gonna it's gonna be Charlie's doing is perfect. Improper cheese distribution. We don't want that. Leave my cheese alone. <laughs> you do your own ball. Okay, so while Charlie's doing the cheese, I'm gonna be working on the other part of that third step, which is making a semolina mixture that binds the cheese together so we can make our filling. It's almost as difficult as the walk from Jericho to Jerusalem. That was tough. This may be tougher. That's true. We're gonna turn it on on high. We're gonna need a cup of milk. USC, he, that guy was an animal, wasn't he? I wish he was here helping. Yeah. That, oh, so there's a cup of milk. We're taking too long. I think we can do this guy somehow fast. Like, shred, shred, shred yeah. multi-finger shredding. Well, what you can do is you shredding. Could... Look at this. All right, a cup of milk, and then we're gonna add to that maybe five tablespoons of semolina. What you could do is you could invent something and be a millionaire off of inventing something I'm, I'm, that I, That's exactly shreds. what I invented, multi-finger shredding. You see, you use the index and the, every and little And you're getting finger. it all over me. 
No. Yes, I got it in my eye a second ago. Oh. Four. Let's start with four, and then we'll add the fifth one because I just want to check the consistency. And you want to stir, stir, stir. You don't want to leave that alone, otherwise it will be lumpy. It's not a lot of milk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at on my shirt. Oh, there's your. It's toe. on my toe. toe again. It's everywhere. This is this is a Sergio operation. And for this step, you want to use the fine grain semolina. That's important. Otherwise, it will be grainy texture, and we don't want that. Look at that. Look how, look how easily it thickens. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. I think I'm finished with this one. I'm finished with this one. Okay, Charlie, you're done, right? Yep. All right. Well done. We're gonna put this here. And we're gonna add the semolina mixture into here. Oh, wonderful. All right. You just wanna mix it very well. So this might look to you like it's not simple steps, but if I and Charlie could do it, you can do it. <laughs> so we have those all ready and mixed up in here and it looks wonderful. We don't love a lot of sugar, so we're gonna use a bit in the mixture so it just gives it that little hint of sweetness and then we're gonna be drizzling on top. This one. Two. That's it, you don't need much really. You just want it to be a bit on the sweet side. Okay, perfect, that's it. We're gonna have two trays that I have pre-greased with butter or the sweet cream. And now we're gonna put it together. So we're gonna take just a little bit and we're gonna put a bit on the pan at the bottom. This will help the cheese to grab onto it. And maybe a very, very thin layer. But just a bit, but it's worth it. It's worth the yumminess of this dessert. This looks really good, Sergio. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna fill it with the cheese. We have enough for two trays, I hope. We don't wanna do a thick layer, so we don't wanna do too much. We wanna spread it. So the reason why we're doing this video is because our friend Perry and Loray, who came to visit Israel and they tried knafe in Israel, they loved it so much that they wanted to make their own here in America. And so they tried it, but it didn't turn out as good as the one in Israel that they tried. How did it taste like? So we said, hey, let's make a video and show people how to do it. Well, specifically, Rhoda said that, and that's why she's the one who's doing it. Complicated. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Like three the easy cook. steps. Three easy three steps. Three easy steps. Now while you're doing that, Rhoda, I got a question. What is semolina? Okay, semolina is a type of flour. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, because it really turned thick quickly while you yeah. were. Yeah. Okay, so we filled it up with cheese. We have the bottom layer, we have the second layer. And now, the rest of the filo dough, we're just gonna layer it on top and it's gonna be much bigger than the layer we put on the bottom. We're just gonna take little by little. And you're keeping this more airy than usual, than the bottom layer? Yeah, because in the end, you're gonna put the syrup on it and it's gonna mm -hmm. cover it, um, if you're doing the traditional one. And so that will pack it on its own. It will let it absorb and that's it. So you, this one is really airy, so you could like that. You put pat it down a syrup bit. Syrup in there, pat it down. Yeah, you pat it down a bit. Say so, okay, so Charlie got to go for a while. So where, well, so why are we gonna put this in the oven? Charlie's gonna go. And we're gonna bring it to you when it's done. Sounds good. I'm ready. Okay, look at that. Thank you, Charlie, so much for your help. I don't think I could have done it so fast without you. Well, I thank you time. because this has been a real experience. <laughs> Appreciate it. Was it as good as experience as walking from Jericho to Jerusalem? This was probably better. That was kind of a disaster. <laughs> By the time we were done, we were pretty done. Both are good memories, though. Good memories. Remember that cheese that fell on your toe? Yeah, I remember. I'll never forget the cheese on the toe. Yeah. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I put it back. <laughs> Who? It's one of those. Who's going to get the cheese, the toe? Cheese, the cheese oh, toe. Geez. All right, so we're gonna preheat the oven, 350. 
So it's been a couple of hours. We need to take out the sage, don't forget. We're taking out the sage. Oops, that's it. Hey, did you know that Perry is a metalsmith and he does all kinds of cool stuff with metal and he like molds it and stuff and... Oh, you're talking to me? <laughs> you guys should check out his YouTube channel. He's got uh, some pretty cool stuff that he does with metal. Okay, this is a final step and it's optional in the prep. So a lot of times Middle Eastern sweets are decorated with nuts and knafe is commonly decorated with ground pistachio. And then to grind them, just put them in a baggie like this and just get to work. I think I need your muscles to do that. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> of course. There you go. From. It's put down there. Let's see if that was worth it. Keep worth it. Look at that. That was worth it. Good job. <laughs> An unnecessary effort, but. <laughs> unnecessary effort? Unnecessary, very unnecessary. You know what would have been cool, but we don't have it here. That guac, what do you call that thing? Guac smasher. Smasher. Yeah. Uh, if you have a guac smasher, use the guac smasher. I'm sure it has a name, I just don't know it. Guac Smasher sounds just about right. You can teach us in the comments below. Yeah, and don't do what I just did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're ready. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit too much browning, but that's okay. It's gonna be yummy anyway. Okay, so the best way to do it is let it sit a bit, but I think we're going to have a piece while it's warm. All right, so here's how we do it. Okay, so now you see the texture is crunchy and the secret to having a soft kanafe is that you take the sugar syrup and you drench it, all of it, and that softens the dough, the filo dough. This is one. Ooh, yummy, stringy. That's one. Also, when you put the sugar on top of it while it's in the tray, all these pieces that kind of are flying out now won't do that. Look at that, because of the mozzarella. All right, all right. So we're going to take. This is the syrup, right? Yes. This okay, and you doubled the amount of it, right, while we were yes. baking? Yes, so we doubled the amount of it because we got plenty of knafe made. Wow. So you really want to drench it if you want to have it traditional. Mm. And here's what you do. You take pistachio, ground pistachio, and you give it a little garnish. That's for you, honey. So while these two little pieces are just for me and Rhoda right now, so that's why she's decorating them separately, we're just gonna show you how to decorate the whole tray, which is the usual way that they would have done it. Yes. So how you would wanna do it usually, while, while it's in the tray, this is very important. So that's how you get soft knafe because right now it's kind of crunchy, it's not soft. So you wanna take this whole thing and you just wanna go over it. Wow. Yeah, you don't want to be short-handed with this. You want to have a lot. I know it's a lot of sweet and it's a lot of sugar. That's why we don't like to do this step very much. We like less sugar, but that's how you do it. 
Oh, you're drenching it in sugar. Oh yeah, because you want this dough to soften and also let it rest and soak it all up. And it makes it softer yeah. and, yes, yes, and tastier yes. because and now, sweeter. Now this one, we didn't drench it. Look, it's like crunchy. See how crunchy it is? It's, you can hear it even. It's not soft. This is what softens it. Wow, okay. Are you ready? Here comes the moment of truth. Here comes the moment of truth. Uh, it's still a bit crunchy on top. Oh. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. 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 That's actually very good. Wow. Even with the crunch wow. that is on top. It is. Very good. It is crunchy. It is sweet. It is cheesy. Mmm. 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 Mm. Those little flavors in there. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, delightful. So good. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And we hope that your day will be full of sweet emotion like this one. Mm -hmm. And may the Lord bless you real well. Also, for all the ingredients and the fixes up that we did, everything down below, check it out. Send us pictures if you make it. Cheers. Let's go bring this to Charlie. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, we gotta get to Charlie real fast before the knafe gets cold. This is a hot knafe delivery, 123.com, maybe not, but it gotta be warm or else it's no good knafe. Hot knife delivery. Hot knife delivery. Hot knife delivery. Hot knife delivery. Hey, Hot knife delivery. <laughs> You're not ready? It's almost time for bed for crying out loud. <laughs> Sorry about the clothes. I was just, uh, <clears throat> we're getting ready to eat, and you know me, I go to bed pretty early, so. Oh man, does that smell good. Holy. We need to try it macro. for your let, genuine. Yeah, my, hang on, let me go get a fork, okay? If you're wondering what this Charlie's wearing, that is his daughter's present, Tenji's present for him. And he said it's the most comfortable thing he ever wore, no matter how it looks. Man, does this smell good. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because this is gonna be my dessert tonight. Oh, I'm gonna really cut that baby. Yeah. Wow. Like it? That is insane. We did good. Wow. Thank that you, is, Charlie, for no, your help. No, thank you. Wow. That is <laughs> unbelievable. That'll be our dessert tonight. And we're bringing more for church tomorrow because oh, they will love it. We have plenty. Absolutely, so. they will love it. My goodness. <laughs> Great job. Good job. Great job helping, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. <laughs> wow. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. What are we cooking next time? What's that? What are we cooking next time? Um, Chihuahua? Do you guys eat Chihuahua in Israel? It's not kosher. Not, not kosher. kosher. Sorry. Sorry. No Chihuahua. No Chihuahua. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs>